Hi, I'm Glenn Eisen. Uh, welcome to our Tai Chi to improve balance and mental focus and reduce your fall risk. Uh, this program is based on Tai Chi moves. It's a mind-body exercise. Your mind leads your body. Uh, most falls happen in very familiar places where you're blindly walking somewhere that you go through every day or frequently and you don't necessarily see where you are. You know it. Something puts something in the way. A toy, a rug is turned up. Somebody steps in front of you. Uh, some of you may have driven through a stop sign. So the purpose of Tai Chi is mind-body. Our mind leads our body. We're going to integrate our respiratory system, synchronize our breathing with our moving, our cardiovascular system, all our bones, muscles, nerves, and tendons are involved. Uh, and the National Institute of Health maintains that this Tai Chi exercise is probably the balance, best balance improvement exercise that there is. I developed this routine as my role as a Tai Chi, guest staff Tai Chi instructor on cruise ships, I, mostly with Holland America Lines and most recently on the Royal Princess cruise ship on a voyage from Buenos Aires to Los Angeles. But instead of talking, let's get started as we do our exercise, four parts. Part one, we'll warm up. Part two, we'll review our fundamental exercises and movements. Part three, we'll do a Tai Chi routine of uh, these four movements. They're called forms. In part four, we'll do a cool down, which will include massaging the major acupressure points of the body, a routine that was given to me by a professor at the medical school at the University of California, Irvine. Thanks to P.J. Murphy, the uh, program director here at the Anthony F. Veteran Park in Greenberg, Joe Lucchese, the uh, deputy uh, superintendent of the parks in Greenberg, and uh, Paul Feiner, the town supervisor, who is, uh, again, with their help, has made this program possible. Uh, also, George Malone, who is our, in charge of the Greenberg Public Access TV station. All right, let's get started. Enough talking. Let's practice. Just stand, relax. Let your body go. Just slouch. Don't stand up. Let your skeleton support your body. All muscles relax, nothing tense, looking straight ahead, nose in line with navel, ears, shoulders, hips. Let's start with our eyes. The vestibular system is your body's major balance system. Just moving your eyes, the six muscles of the eyes, move your eyes up and down in a sine curve to your right, my left, and come back. Just moving your eyes up and down, and what this is doing, you're balancing, you're tuning your balance system to the right and to the left. And now looking straight ahead, pull your neck back, again scanning with your head, your carotid arteries, trachea and esophagus, and pulling your head forward, your brain stem, and the spine coming out of your brain, back and forth. Turn your head to your left, my right, and to your right, and my left. Learn to move your head. Every time you move your head, your body is rebalancing. And turn your head in a circle. If you're ever taking a driver's exam, make sure you turn and scan. It's very important. Now your shoulders. Shoulders, your largest joint, upper joint of the body. Visualize your body, your trunk as a tree, and your arms and your shoulder joint as the edge of the branch. Shoulders back and forth. Using your mind to lead the body. Control. Put your mind in those joints. Move your arms slowly up. Control the speed. Feel those molecules of air flow through your fingers. Don't raise your elbows above your shoulder height or you, and bring them down. Feel that air flowing through your fingers. Arms up. The reason you don't want to bring your arm, your shoulders above your shoulder, your elbows above your shoulder is they throw your balance back. To keep your balance, always keep your elbows, control your elbows as much as possible below your shoulder height. And move your arms forward and back. 
In Tai Chi, our arms only really move up and down. Now stretch your spine. Every person, pretty much worldwide, above 40, or the majority of people, have some spinal deformation, some spinal disc deformation. Some so serious it causes great pain, pull those vertebrae apart from the discs, and bring your spinal vertebrae down. And some of those people with spine uh, disc deformation have no pain at all. But just Stay down. Stretch your spine up and bring it down. Now breathing in deeply through your nose, press out in your abdomen, fill your lungs as full of air as possible. We do abdominal breathing in Tai Chi and exhale slowly. There's been some recent studies that exhaling slowly causes, creates a very calming effect on the body. Breathe in, fill your lungs, use through your nose, push out. You're massaging your organs here, your liver and your spleen and your stomach and your appendix and your gallbladder. And breathe out slowly and feel that calming effect. When you're breathing out, tighten your muscles between the base of the spine and three fingers below your navel, which is your body center of gravity. Now rotate your hips. We're only doing one part of the body at a time. Let your mind focus right now on your pelvis and your hips. Just rotate, that's your flexibility. Shift your weight to your left, my right leg. In Tai Chi, that's called the full leg. And move your left toe to the side, your right toe to the side, right toe in. Right to the side, right in. We move always sideways, toe, heel, side in. Now, with your weight on the left leg, the right leg, left toe out, left toe in. Left toe out, left toe in. Left toe out, left toe in. Keeping your weight on your right leg. Left heel forward, you always go forward, heel, toe, Toe to the middle, toe back. Left heel forward, toe to the middle balance, toe back. Heel to the middle, get your balance, weight on your right foot, heel forward. Toe to the middle, toe back. Heel to the middle, shift your weight to your left. Now my right heel forward, right toe to the middle balance, toe back. Heel of the middle, balance, heel forward. Toe to the middle, balance, toe back. Heel of the middle, balance, heel forward. Toe to the middle. Settle your weight now on both legs equally. Your weight's equally distributed. A lot of people have leg pain when they bend. Don't bend your legs, but sit down like you're sitting on a stool. If it hurts to bend far, only go halfway. If it hurts to bend at all, just visualize it. Great benefits. If you've had hip or knee replacement or surgery or problems, do what your doctor says, not necessarily what I'm suggesting here. Again, shift your weight to your left leg. Turn your right ankle. With your weight still on your left leg, lift your right toes, your weight's on your right heel. Keeping your nose in line with navel, ears, shoulders, hips, rotate 45 degrees to your right and back. Rotate back. We always turn on our heels in Tai Chi. Rotate back. Shift your weight back to your right leg. Turn your left ankle. With your weight on your right leg, Lift your left toes, your weights on your left, your right leg's full, your left leg's empty, 45 degrees to your left, and back. Turn, back, turn, back. With your weight now on the balls of your feet and the heels, just those four points, visualize you're on the floor looking up, just turn in a circle. 
Shifting your weight from left to right, turn clockwise, counterclockwise, and do a figure eight if you can. And now wiggle your fingers and toes. We have now warmed up over 98% of our major bones, muscles, tendons. We've dealt with our, our uh, blood vessels and the meridians, the, the energy sensitivities that we talk about in total Chinese medicine. Now let's go through the fundamentals and let's uh, uh, we'll, we'll then do a, the exercises. The four fundamentals are, remember our arms only move up and down, elbows don't go above our shoulders because our weight shifts back, our nose stays in line with navel, we always turn, we're dealing in a 90 degree arc, 45 to the right, 45 to your left. We turn slowly, but when we turn, we lift our toes. Our feet move forward and backward. Where we go forward, it's heel toe, backward toe heel, but our mind leads the body at all times. We think, we move. We will also be synchronizing our breathing with our movement. All right, I'm going to turn around now and we'll go through our four basic exercises, the four Tai Chi exercises. For those of you who may have done Tai Chi, is part the Hild Horse's Mane. That's how we go forward. Repulse monkey. That's how we move backward. Cloud hands. That's how we go sideways. And a martial art move called punch, parry, turn, parry, turn, punch. Using those four Tai Chi moves, we will now put together our balance and fall reduction program. Thank you. Okay. Just relax, stay forward, nose in line with navel, ears, shoulders, hips. Your weight on your left leg. Lift your right toes 45 degrees, turn to the right, your weight on the right, your right hand at your sternum, your left hand at your navel, your left foot forward. We're in a bow and arrow position. Slowly turn forward, raising your left hand, lowering your right hand, facing straight ahead. Come back, raising your right hand, shift your weight to the right. Move forward, raise your left hand straight forward, parting the horse's mane, and settle on your left foot. Back. Forward. Keep your head level. Follow the index finger of the hand that's moving up with your eyes. But don't tilt your head. Back. Inhale deeply now. Exhale as you move forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale back. Exhale forward. With your weight and shift your weight straight back. Your weight's on the right leg, but you're facing forward. Lift your left toes, keep your left hand up, and turn 45 degrees to your left. Shift your weight forward to your left leg. That's the full leg. Bring your right leg to the middle balance, your right hand up at the navel. Step forward, your bow and arrow position, and turn forward. Inhale back, exhale forward. Inhale back, come forward, part the horse's mane while you're exhaling. Inhale, exhale. Let's go back, straight back now again. Right toe up, right foot 45 degrees. Right foot down. Left heel to the middle. Your weight's on the right leg. That's the full leg. Step forward with your left leg. Shift forward. Inhale back. 
Exhale, park the horse's neck. Weight to your right leg back, inhale. Weight forward to your left leg, exhale. Keeping your weight straight up, by your weights on your right leg. Lift your left leg, left toes, turn to the left, 45 degrees, settle on your left. Right heel to the middle, balance yourself, right forward, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now we're going to move backward. Shift your weight straight back to the left. Your right toe 45 degrees. Your right hand is facing 45 degrees. Put your left hand at your right elbow. What I want you to do is push forward. Shift your weight. Right push with your right hand, your weight to the left. Come back, your weight to the right, push right up, forward, weight to the left. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, your weight's on the right leg. Exhale, you shift your weight to the left while you're pushing with the right. Inhale, repulse monkey with your right. Raise your left hand to the corner, facing 45 degrees to your left. Your right toe back. We go backward, toe heel. Step back. Push with your left hand, your weight to the right. Inhale to the left. Exhale, weight to the right. Inhale to your left. Exhale to your right. Raise your right hand, you're facing to the right, your left hand at the right elbow. Your left toe to the middle, get your balance. Step back, push with your right, weight to your left. Inhale, weight to the right. Exhale, weight to your left. Inhale, exhale. Let's take one more step back. Left hand up, weight to the left, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and one more back, inhale to the right, weight, exhale to the left. Put your weight to the right, we're not going to move sideways with plowed hands. Your weight's on your right leg, your left, right hand is your sternum, your left hand at your navel. Your weight's out. You're now basically in a comfortable legs apart. Shift your weight to your left, raising your left hand, lowering your right hand, bring your right leg in. Step your right to the weight to the right, right hand up to your sternum, left in. Inhale, step, shift, exhale, inhale. Step, shift, inhale, step, inhale. Now let's move to the left. Your weight's on the right. Inhale, step. We're getting our toe heel. We always go sideways, toe heel. Shift, exhale, right in, inhale. Step, shift, exhale, right in, inhale. One more. Step. Exhale, right in, inhale. Let's go back to our right now. Our weight's on the left, our right foot's empty. Step, exhale, left in, inhale. Step, exhale, right in, left in, inhale. Step to the right, right up, left in, inhale. Our weight's on the right. Your right hand is at your sternum. We're now going to turn. Take your left foot and turn 45 to 90 degrees to your left. Lower in your left hand. Put your right hand at your waist. Your left hand is punching out. Shift your weight back to your right. Lift your left arm shoulder height. 
Left toes, turn forward, shift your weight to the left, lowering your left arm and left toes. Lift your right arm, shoulder height, turn to the right, lower your right toes and right arm, and punch to your right. Stay vertical, nose in line with navel, ears, shoulders, hips. Come back, weight to the left, right up, right to the front, right down, settle to the right. Left up, left turn, left down, weight to the left. Weight back to your right. Inhale while you're coming up, turn to the front, exhale while you come down. Inhale where your right arm and right toes come up, turn to the right, exhale where you come down and settle. Weight back to your left. Inhale, turn, exhale, down. Inhale, turn, exhale, down. Weight back to the right. Inhale up, turn, exhale, down. Inhale, turn, exhale, down. Let's go back to the middle. Weight to the left. Inhale, turn, exhale, and just shake for a second. Just step. loosen up. Right. Now, what I want to do is we're going to introduce a routine using these four things. We're going to move, and George, I'm going to turn around. Uh, we're going to, okay, we're going to do a four movement. We're going to use those four moves forward, backward, sideways, and turning into a Tai Chi routine. We're going to do four repetitions of this. First one is we're going to raise our arms up and down, and then we'll go three forward, three moves back, three to the left, three to the right, and then we'll do three repetitions of the turn. We're going to repeat this four times. The first two times I'll talk about the minutia of the move. Toes up, arms up, go left, go right, shift left, lift right. The third and the fourth time, I'm going to synchronize the breathing with the moving. Uh, one of the points is this is not an aerobic exercise to get your heart rate up. People frequently call this moving meditation. So we're going to go slow and control. We're interested in balance, reducing fall risk, and improving your mental focus. That is our objective here, not to be perfectionist in Tai Chi. Tai Chi is a, the catalyst to improve our balance. Uh, at the end of the fourth repetition, I'm going to just let our arms come down and settle, and I'm going to count to ten, and we're just going to relax, focus ahead, and concentrate, let our mind free, flow free, but not hold on to ideas. You're in charge, your exercise, not mine. I'm just a resource to help you get this done. And let's, let's get started. Okay. Relax. Stand straight. Legs comfortably apart. Weight equally balanced. Arms up, slow. Okay, elbows don't go higher than your shoulders. And I'm stuck. Weight to your left leg. Lift your right toes. Turn 45 to your right. Your right hand to sternum. Your left hand to your navel. Your left foot forward, bow and arrow position. Slowly move your weight forward, parting the wild horse's mane straight ahead. Weight straight back. Left toe up. Left toe 45 degrees. Left toe down. Weight on your left. Right heel in the middle. Right palm up. Step forward. Shift your weight forward. 
Park the horse's mane with your right hand. Stay vertical, nose in line with navel, ears in line with your shoulders and hips. Weight straight back. Toes up, toes 45 degrees, toes down. Weight to the middle, balance. Step forward, park the horse's mane again with your left hand. We're now going to repulse funky. Your right hand to the corner, your left hand to the uh, your elbow, your weights on your right leg. Step back, shift your weight to the left leg, repulse the monkey with your right hand. Your left hand to the corner, your right hand at the elbow. Step back, shift your weight to the right, push with your left. Weights on the right, your right hand at the corner, your left hand at the elbow. Step back, push back, weight on the right, push with the left. Shift your weight forward to the right leg. We're doing palm hands and running to the side. Right hand at your sternum, left hand at your navel. Step to the left, shift to the left, right toe in, weight to the right. Left toe over, shift to the left, Right toe in, right toe, weight to the right. Shift to the left, left hand up, right in, we'll go back to the right, toe to the right, shift to the right, left in, left up. Step to the right, shift to the right, left in, left up. Step to the right, shift to the right, Left in. We're now going to turn. Turn your left foot 45 to 90 degrees. Left hand at your waist height. Right hand facing down. Weight back to your right. Left up. Left over. Left down. Weight to the left. Right toes up. Right turn. Right down. Punch to the right. Weight to the right. Weight back to your left. Up, toes up, forward, down, weight to the right. Left up, turn, forward, down, weight to the left. Second repetition, weight to the right. Up, over, down, up, turn, down, circle. Weight back to the left. Toe arm up. Forward, down, weight to the right, toe arm up, turn, down, weight to the left, weight back to the right, up, over, down, weight to the left, up, over, down, weight to the right, back to the left, up, over, down, weight to the right, up, over, down, weight to the left. Let's go back to the middle. Weight to the right, up, over, down, both arms down. Raise both arms up slowly. And both down, and let's do our second repetition. Weight to the left, right 45 degrees, right hand to sternum, left at your navel, left foot forward. Park the main, shift your weight forward. Weight back to your right. Left toe up, left over, left down, weight to your left. Right heel in the middle, get your balance. Right forward, turn forward, weight forward, park the main with your right. Weight back to your left. Right toe up, right over, right down. Left heel in the middle, left forward, shift forward, part with the left. So pulse monkey, right hand to the corner, 45 degrees, left hand at your elbow, weights on your right leg. Left toe to the middle, balance, step back, for push right, weight left. Right hand, left hand at the corner, right at your elbow, your weights on your left leg. Toe to the middle, Step back, 
push with your left, shift your weight to the right. Right hand to the corner, left to the middle, balance, step back, push. Five hands, weight to your right, right hand to sternum, left hand to your navel. Step, shift to the left, weight to the right, back to the Step to the left, claw hands to the left, step in, weight to the right. Step to the left, claw hands to the left, weight in. Back to our right. Step, shift, in, up. Step, toe, shift to the right, left in, left up. Your weight's on the left, step, toe, shift, Left in. We now are going to turn. Left to the left. Settle to your left. Weight to your left. Weight to your right. Left arm up. Left forward. Left down. Weight to your left. Right up. Over. Down. Settle to the right. Weight back to your left. Left toes up, left arm up. Turn forward, weight to the right, right. Left toe up, turn, down, weight to the left. Repetition two. Left up, turn, down, right up, turn, down, settle to the right. Weight back to the left. Up, turn, down, weight to the right. Left toes up, turn on your heel, down, weight to the left. Now the third time. Weight back to your right. Up, turn, down, weight to the left. Up, turn, down, weight to the right. Now back to your left. Up, Turn, down, weight to the right, left up, turn, down, weight to the left. Let's go back to the middle now. Weight to the right, up, turn, down. We're now going to synchronize breathing with our moving. Arms up slowly, inhale deeply, and down, exhale. Weight on the left. Right toe in the corner, inhale, right hand to sternum, left to your navel, step forward, exhale. Weight straight back. Inhale, turn to the left, settle, right balance, forward, exhale. Weight back to the left. Left toe, right toe up, turn, inhale. Settle on your right, left to the middle, exhale. The pulse monkey, right hand at the corner, left at your elbow. Step back, push, weight to the right, exhale. Left up, step back, push, weight to the right, exhale, push to the left. Right to the corner, inhale. Toe to the middle, step back, exhale. Now the quad hands, moving sideways. Weight to the right, right at your sternum, left hand at your navel. Inhale, step, exhale, right hand, inhale. Toe to the left, exhale, right hand, inhale. Toe to the left, exhale, Right in, inhale, back to the right. Step, exhale, left in, inhale. Step, exhale, left in, inhale. Step, exhale, left in, inhale. Now turn. Left, turn to the left on your heel, settle to the left, way to the left. Weight to the right. Inhale while you come up. 
turn, exhale, come back. Inhale up, turn, exhale, circle. Weight back to your left. Inhale up, turn, exhale. Inhale, turn, exhale, circle. Number two. Inhale, turn, exhale, settle. Inhale, turn, exhale, settle. Weight back to your left. Inhale, turn, exhale, settle. Inhale, turn, exhale, settle. Number three, weight to your right. Inhale, turn, exhale, settle. Inhale, turn, exhale, settle. Weight to the left. Inhale, turn, exhale, settle. Inhale, turn, exhale, settle. Back to our middle, weight to the right. Inhale, turn, exhale, settle. Both arms up. Inhale deeply. Stay slow, stay in control. Exhale, fold your body feels flowing through your fingers. Stay in charge, stay focused. Nose in line with navel, your shoulders, hips. All muscles relax except those that are absolutely necessary. Turn to the right, right hand to your sternum. Inhale, step forward, exhale. Weight back. Inhale, toes up, turn. Settle, step forward, exhale. Inhale back, toes up, turn. Exhale, settle, forward. Repulse monkey, right hand to the corner, left at your elbow, weight on the right. Inhale, step back, push, exhale. Left hand up at the corner, inhale, weights on your left. Step back, weight to the right, push with the left, exhale. Inhale, toe to the middle balance, toe back, exhale. Bob hands, weight to the right, right hand up. Inhale, left hand to the right, step, exhale, toe in, inhale. 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 Back to the right. Step, exhale, toe in, inhale. Step, exhale, toe in, inhale. Step, exhale, toe in, we'll turn. Inhale, right, push, exhale. Weight to the right. Inhale, turn, exhale. Inhale, turn, exhale down, settle to the right. Weight to the left. Inhale, turn, exhale. Inhale, turn, exhale, settle. Weight back to your left. Toes up, turn in the heel. Inhale, settle, exhale. Inhale, turn, settle, exhale. Inhale, turn, exhale. Inhale, turn, exhale, settle. Weight back to your right. Inhale, turn, Exhale, inhale, turn, exhale, settle, weight to the left, inhale, turn, exhale, settle, inhale, turn, exhale, settle. Come back to the middle now. Inhale, weight to the right, arm up, turn, exhale, settle, arms up slow. Very slow, deep, deep, deep in. Drop down, exhale. 
or the hovers for the time of death. Why focus? Just relax, settle, become a center. Let your body support itself too. Breathe deep through your nose and exhale slowly. Three. Just relax, let the mind flow. Just stay flowing through your mind. Don't hold on to anything. Four. Breathe. Five. You're in charge. Stay in charge. Six. Look around. But don't move your head. Just your eyes. Seven. Relax. Just relax. Eight. Stay focused, stay in control, nine. And ten. Shake. Some of you notice your hands are red, your fingers are red. What we've done through this is also uh, improve the peripheral circulation. It's good in cold weather to warm up. But just our blood is flowing, our mind, we're relaxed, we're in charge. All right, let's cool down. The cool down consists of three parts. The first part, we're going to tighten and loosen our muscles in the same order we warmed up. The second part, we're going to massage the major acupuncture points of the body. Uh, they're this has been done by a medical school professor at the University of California, our friend Dr. Shin Lin, and also NATO with the Department of Defense have developed a, uh, a, a, a acupuncture massage and uh, a puncture routine to re reduce lower back pain. And three, we're going to do a tapping exercise of the major muscles, joints, blood vessels, tendons, and, and energy meridians of our body. All right, let's start. Just tighten up. Head, neck, shoulder, arms, chest, stomach, pelvis, pelvic, legs, toes, and fingers, and loosen everything. Again, tighten head, neck, shoulder, arms, fingers, chest, abdomen, pelvis, femur, feet, and toes, and loosen. And finally, a third time. Just tighten, tighten, tighten. Hold it if you can. And loosen. All right, study the acupuncture massage. Top of your head, right in the middle, it's called 100 meetings, right in the middle of the head, a little soft spot. When your babies, soft spot, the plates of the skull never totally grow together. Right in the middle, you feel that little indentation. It's sort of a stress reliever. Sometimes it'll help with headache. Coming straight down between the eyebrows, a little point between the eyebrows. Again, a little indentation right in the middle. Uh, one study at the, uh, found that in pediatric surgery, by massaging children before surgery, it was, a, it was able to calm, sort of a stress reliever. Halfway down the eyebrows, there's six muscles on each eye. You'll find an indentation in this eyebrow muscle right in the middle that massages the eye muscles and also helps with sore eye and sometimes with dry eye. The corner of your upper and lower eyelid, right in the corner, for red eye and tearing. The corner where your nose reaches your upper jaw. This is for sinus congestion, nasal congestion, and if you ever have a nosebleed or you have a somebody with a nosebleed, rubbing here will sometimes stop the nosebleed. Never go back if somebody's nose is bleeding, always forward. You don't want to run blood into their lungs or your lungs. One third of the way between your nose and your upper lip, bow with the teacher and think of. This is a Tai Chi, uh, an acupuncture point that helps resuscitation from fainting. Also, if there's ever facial swelling, this sometimes will help relieve that. Nothing solves every problem for everyone. Remember that. 
Although it works for some and for many, it may not work for everyone. Halfway between the lower lip and the jaw, again when the teeth reach the gum, for mouth and jaw pain. Uh, if you have a toothache or some taut, this will sometimes help relieve it. Either side of your voice box, between the carotid arteries, your trachea and esophagus, for sore throat and neck and shoulder pain. The upper chamber of your ear, right there, is a point that NATO and the United States Department of Defense are using to relieve lower back pain and other body pains for uh, uh, soldiers in combat. They normally carry very heavy packs and they have sometimes severe back pain. By putting three acupuncture needles here and two in the earlobe, they're able frequently to relieve that pain within several days or a few days without the use of opiates. Uh, the Department of Veterans Affairs just re uh, reported that in the uh, VA hospitals in Florida, they're using this also with some great success. They leave the acupuncture pins in for three or four days till they fall out. Your earlobe. This is the body's central cerebral acupuncture point. It's for clearing your mind, remembering something you may have forgotten, and uh, provides you relief. Sometimes on TV you'll see some uh, actors, I know it's Colbert does this frequently, rubbing his ear. It's a good way to keep your mind fresh and keep your mind open. Again, on the other ear, the acupuncture point of the upper part of the ear, rubbing, you know, frequently if you have the acupuncture needles, you can't come back every day to put them in. So massaging is frequently recommended to consider in between treatments. Not that this replaces acupuncture, but rather it's just a, a, a self-medication self or self-technique to do without it. And then rubbing your ear lobes again on the right ear. The middle of the palm, just below the middle finger knuckle, right at the top of the palm, is the body's central energy point. It's, it's for a shot in the arm, give your body a little bit of energy. Uh, it's particularly if you're feeling tired, wanting to get started in the morning. Rubbing there will help you sometimes. Uh, give, it's almost, almost like a shot of caffeine, only better, less, less effect on your body and a good relaxing. The next five uh, points are what called the gates of life. Uh, Dr. Lynn considered these the most important parts of the body. Starting with your index finger bone, between your knuckle and your wrist, halfway down, if you rub down, you'll feel a small indentation in this bone. Right there is the body's central pain point. It releases endocrines to relieve pain. Several years ago, the New York Times had a report that one of their reporters who couldn't tolerate uh, uh, anesthesia through the use of acupuncture was able to have a, an appendix removed. I don't, I, it's just a story I know of, but I don't, uh, I use this sometimes for headache relief and general pain relief. Again, the acupuncture point on your hand. The second one is, is that I developed this routine on cruise ships where balance is a major issue. Three fingers beneath the wrist, between these two bones, the radius and the ulna, three fingers down, is an acupuncture point to relieve motion sickness and indigestion. There's a product called C-bands people frequently buy. What happens is those C-bands put pressure on this acupuncture point. And this is, uh, uh, so this, this is it. This is also a point that some use to moderate blood pressure, either up or down, just to moderate it. Exactly opposite the second is the third gate of life, right here on the back of your wrist. This is for auditory function and tinnitus, ringing in your ears. 
Uh, I'm severe, have severe hearing loss that I lost in the military many years ago. This doesn't do much for me, but uh, for many people it could be very helpful. The fourth the point is in the crack of your wrist, or crack of your elbow, with the shoulder, just relax your muscles. No muscles tense right there for arm and shoulder pain. The fifth point is in your kneecap, in line with your shin, right on four fingers down from your knee, you'll find a bone in your knee. Straight down from the straight down from the knee, right in line with your shin. Which rubbing this is for leg and ankle pain. Now let's look at the tapping exercise. Starting here in the system, tibula and fibula, lower bones, shins, coming up to the femur, the largest bone in the body, the nerve on the side is your femoral nerve, the nerve in the back is your sciatic nerve, a massive amount of blood in that uh, bone. Coming up to your buttocks, Your pelvic cavity, which is your bowels and your bladder and your lower intestine. Your abdominal cavity, your liver, your spleen, your gallbladder, your stomach, your appendix, the back of your kidneys. Your thoracic cavity, which is your heart, your lungs, the ribs and the muscles between your ribs, the intercostal muscles. Your upper shoulder, your upper arm, the humerus, the lower arm, your radius and your ulna, your hands and your fingers, the other radius and ulna, your shoulders, the back of your neck, which is your brain stem and the spine coming down, the side of your neck, your neck muscles, the front, which is your carotid arteries, your esophagus, your trachea, Top of your head, your brain, your face, and your throat. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.